Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. These are the free card kits for the month of July. Um, this is what I came up with and how do you get these free card kits? It's very simple. You just place an order at my online store. There is a link below that says shop now and um, you can just click that and shop my online store. Just place an order with me and I send you these two free card kits. Also, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber or a downline of mine, these are the free card kits that you will be, be receiving for the month of July. Now, if you're a brand new customer of mine, you're going to get these two free card kits plus an annual catalog. And then you're going to get six sheets of 6x6 six six DSP. This is some that has retired. I've got some left over, so I thought I would share it with everyone, but th that is a new customer. So I don't know what will be in your stack. Um, it's just, I just cut it up and I send it out with a brand new catalog if you're a new customer. So I'll be back in just a moment and we'll put one of these cards together. This is the first card that we're going to put together. And I fell in love with these dies in the Good Morning Magnolia Bundle. That's what this is right here. And I was experimenting with all of the dies that were in here on a video this past week. And I found that these did this and I absolutely fell in love with them. I also wanted us to play with some of the new in colors. So this is terracotta tile. Our base is thick whisper white cardstock. It's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, but it is, it opens like this. So what I was thinking here was of a basket and a basket of flowers, and th this is what I came up with. I would think of um, something that has that terracotta color to it, maybe on your front porch. You know, some people do a lot of that even in the fall with mums. They look very, very pretty like that. But we're going to do a summertime theme with this today. And um, so that's what I did. I just ran it through the embossing folder. Because these are card kits that I give away, I'm not allowed to use any stamped images with you guys. So what you see that is stamped here is very little because you can really, once you put this card together and in this embellishment, anything that fits you can stamp. On the inside of your card, you don't have to have this stamp set. You can stamp anything that you want and you will be receiving a Whisper White envelope, but of course it won't be stamped. So um, that's a rule by Stampin' Up! No stamped images. So let's go ahead and start this card. Let's go ahead and get our stamping done first. I'm going to use my leaf on my envelope. I love this leaf. It's just an outline of a very whimsical leaf. So I like to decorate my envelopes front and back, so that's done. And this is how your kit will come. You'll, you'll get an envelope. I should have started with that. You'll get a plain envelope, and then you will get all of these pieces and parts to put it together. Okay? And you will get your card base here. And our terracotta tile is um, five and a quarter by four. And that will already be embossed for you. So sorry that I didn't go over that to begin with. So let's go ahead and put our leaves in our card. I happen to enjoy um, decorating the two corners of my cards like that. And then um, we'll get the enjoy today in the terracotta tile. I love that saying. I mean, two words, that's all it is. Two little words that really say a lot. You should always enjoy your day. At least try to, right? So there's that stamping for the inside. I'll move that aside. I'm going to bring in this, and I'm as you can see, guys, I am absolutely obsessed with these nested uh, label dies. Um, so I wanted to pass my obsession on to you um, because, you know, whether whatever that you use them for, they're fantastic. They're stitched and they're embossed and I just really don't see me ever not using these. So I'm just going to stamp my hello there. I hope it's straight. Oh, we're good. Beautiful. Sometimes behind the camera, you know how that gets. All right. Now we are done with our stamping. So let's close our ink up and move it out of the way. <clears throat> you know, there's just some stamp sets and um, just some projects that it's like, wow, I've got to do that. Now, where did I put my Tombow? Let me get that. Right here. 
and uh, because this is embossed you always want to use a liquid glue especially on something like this this is a dynamic folder and um, it's you know it's got like a lot of nooks and crannies like English muffins That's what it reminds me of embossed things like English muffins okay now we're going to put this on the front of the card very simply and this reminds me of like I said a basket or a um, and I love with the Tombow did you see I need that wiggle room I wasn't over far enough I needed the wiggle room right there and we're going to just let that adhere with our Tombow nicely if we have any parts that are like lifted up like this is lifted up this needs a little bit more glue in here so just kind of I just dab it in there and it's okay and spread it with your tip there you go no big deal alright now our hello is going to go up in the upper right corner and it's going to take two dimensionals is all like that and we're going to put it right here and what's nice about the basket weave is that you could go on that line so now you're straight. I love that. Maybe I, go, I could go down just a hair with that, just like that. Okay, now are we good and straight, do you think? Yes, I do. All right, perfect. Now we're going to layer our flowers here. And you, we have a petal pink base with a Coastal Cabana um, outline. Then we have Mary Merlot with a petal pink um, outline. Now where did I get those colors? Well because I'm a demonstrator I have access to something called a color coach and with the terracotta tile these were the colors some of the colors that went with it and at first I was like oh no this is not going to look good let's go ahead and put some Tombow on the back of this but when I put them together they married so well together I couldn't believe it. It would not be a color choice of mine but I absolutely, when I finished it, I was like, oh my goodness, I love these colors together. I didn't know about the Mary Merlot, but I am extremely happy with that. Okay, so I just dabbed some Tombow on the back of that. And I'm going to place it here on the little, on the solid piece. Remember, Tombow dries clear. And you could always rub it off. So I'm just going to place that down there like that, leaving a nice border of paper around that. That really sets that off. Now we're going to use dimensionals on this one. And I'll use three on this. And we'll put this on the upper part of the card by the hello at an angle any kind of angle that you want and we're going to place our um, little leaves here I'll, I'll cut these out for you they come in a nice little kit for you in a nice bag all right and then we're just going to stick these together just like that just like make a V out of them flip it over and um, Put another glue dot. So see now with my card kits like this with the orders, I don't, um, I just let this video be out there to the public. So um, now we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go ahead and put Tombow on the back of this. Some people were like, why don't you, um, you know, only let these videos go to people who order from you. Well, I do that with some my happy crafting card kit class and some other things that I do my downlines I do a video for them over on my happy crafting corner that's our Facebook group I do it now I do a video for them every Thursday and that one nobody sees but them um, you know so I do a lot of that um, and I just I like sharing my ideas with everybody and if you'd like to order from me I appreciate it and here is what you get and then here's the tutorial it's very easy to find you just click on it and um, and boom it's right there for you 
So just like that. And again, I will go ahead with three dimensionals. So I just kind of figure if you guys like what I do and like my YouTube channel that you might possibly order from me. Um, I'm not a pushy salesperson, so uh, <laughs> I, that's just not my style. I'm going to put this one like that. So, you know, I just like to share what I do, and it's just me. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I sure do. I love crafting. I love doing my YouTube videos. This is some of my favorite stuff is to interact with you guys this way. And again, I'm just using glue dots on here. And um, just to kind of get on here and craft with everyone, uh, sometimes it's very, very difficult. Oh, look how cute. The green remakes that card. Isn't that beautiful? With that terracotta tile, isn't that a gorgeous card? Here it is. Like I was saying, I just I love to share my ideas with everyone. I love to craft. It's very difficult in today's times how fast life is going by for anyone to make time to go to a class or anything. So I figure if you guys are up at 2 a.m. and you have one of my kits, you might want to put one together. I know how that goes. So I'll be back in a minute. We'll put the other one together. Oh, I forgot. We're, we've got to put the sequence just real quick, you're going to get three of these little sequins, and I want to put them down here on this corner. So sorry, got to talking to you about everything. Like I say, I love to craft and I love to share what I do. So this is what I love to do. Ah, and that is adorable. Isn't that an adorable card? So like I say, this is the first card. And I'll be back in a minute. We'll put the second one together. Here's the second card. And I did a video kind of like this this uh, past week. Um, and again, I used these nested dies. Let me get that. Right here, the Stitch Nest Label dies. Um, I love these. I, abs I love the shape of them. I love the things you can do with them. And I love that they're embossed and... Let me get right close there. Embossed and stitched. Aren't we lucky? So um, I'm going to use the starts with art on this card. But again, this is something that you, um, just the stamp set. This is some, and I just use the sequence and a um, sentiment. But this is something that, you know, if you don't have this stamp set, you can use this with, um, any kind of a sentiment and you can turn it even if you didn't want it um, up and down like that you could turn it the other way I'm gonna get some scrap paper here and um, so let's talk about this card this one is 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half so it opens like this you make everything sparkle isn't that adorable and then we put the sequence on there a fun stamp set a very very fun crafty stamp set and I did my envelope the same way We'll do that, okay, um, and our piece of Pretty Peacock, I, um, emboss, I will emboss for you with the tufted embossing folder, so pretty, all right, and then with this, you're going to get some of this ribbon, I love this ribbon, it comes in all the in colors, and it is the scalloped linen ribbon, and this is in Pretty Peacock. So, so pretty. So beautiful. Now, what we're going to do first with this is add a little snail on the back of this. So, let's see. Right here. I really, really like this little card design the, uh, when I did it on my YouTube. And I thought, oh, I'm going to use this for... Um, the card kit. So you'll get five inches of this because this is four inches. So you have a half inch to turn around the card stock like that. So isn't that nice? Now, this is um, thicker ribbon. So even though it's in the snail, and that's good, I'm still going to use just a little bit of scotch tape and I'm going to press it into that snail even better. Um, I just think that, and you don't need much, I just think it secures it down just a little better. 
just like that. Now we can go ahead and use our Tombow and adhere this and make sure that this is straight, you know, because then you're committed. You know, Well, I think the tape would pick up, but, you know, you could rip the back of the paper a little bit. But I don't think you're... I think you would be able to still adjust it. I don't think it's that sturdy. But now once you do this to it, then it is. So a bunch of Tombow and in these corners to the edges because this is a um, very thick dynamic uh, folder. So here is our card base and it's Thick Whisper White. I always use Thick Whisper White on my card bases but then when I stamp and do something like this over here that's regular Whisper White. So I'm going to adhere this to the front of our base there. So pretty. So like I say, with these cards, you know, you can really use any stamp set. I want you guys to have fun in your craft room. Um, and now if you order from me and you love this stamp set and you want to make something like this, I'm thrilled. That's fantastic. Um, but I sure do uh, want everyone to have fun crafting. I really do. Uh, this is um, Daffodil Delight Flirty Flamingo. I'm going to attach my Flirty Flamingo to my Daffodil Delight here. doing equal spacing or trying to <laughs> just like that let's see we got a little crooked there mm. come on boy that snail once you put it down that is one thing I do love about the Tombow is that there's just times when you need that wiggle room this might have been one of it because I was trying to who I got it trying to line up the top, the bottom, and the sides all at once. I think we're okay now. Here we go. All right, that's good. Now we're going to bring our um, Whisper White piece in, and we're going to stamp Let's Stay Up Late and Craft in Pretty Peacock, and I want that in the middle, like that. Now we're going to decorate this, so I needed a piece of scrap paper. Let me move our element aside there. A piece of scrap paper. And you're just going to take these are three little sequins right here. And I took the pretty peacock and I just did three anywhere. Doesn't matter. Then clean it. I have my little wet chamois over here to the side. Use your stamp and scrub, whatever you've got. Then I'm going to go into the Daffodil Delight. And again, I got these colors from the Color Coach. And that's because I'm a demonstrator that we have access to something like that. And sometimes I just need a little help telling me what to use. So I go right to that Color Coach and it doesn't fail me. It just does not fail me. So I'm cleaning the sequence again and going into Flirty Flamingo. And we're just going to try to come around here, filling our space in as much as we can. And look at how pretty that Flirty Flamingo just really pulls this together. I'm going to put a couple up here. Awesome. Just awesome. All right, now we don't need this scrap paper. And we're going to put some snail on the back of that. You know, that would really be a fun card for um, a birthday with those sequins and to put happy birthday. So instead of let's stay up and craft, you might find a little happy birthday one. Look how pretty that looks um, all together. Didn't that just pull it together? Just a little bit of ink, a little bit of stamping. Love that. Now what you want to do on the back here is use some dimensionals, top and bottom. And now the ones in the middle, don't put them right in the middle. You want to um, graduate them down the little element there because you want your ribbon to run in the middle here so that it just helps secure it that much better. You know, the DSP with the starts with art is just so colorful and happy. Oh, look how cute this is right here. Put this right in the middle. Oh, adorable. Now we're going to bring in, you're going to get three rhinestones and we're going to put these in the upper corner here. Let's see, I'll start on that 
um, part of the diamond and then bring them down into the diamond. I think that would be nice. You could actually put one on top, bottom, and middle, but that's okay. I want them evenly spaced. All right, there's our card. That is the outside of our card. Let's do the inside of our card now. Fun. Let's see. You make everything sparkle. Pretty peacock right here in the middle. And again, now just fun with our sequence. And we're going to do the envelope as we do this. So, pretty peacock in here. I like decorating on either uh, top and bottom of my card. Now my envelope, front. I just flip it over and do back because this the sequence, um, the way you lay them down, it doesn't matter. You just want it to look like somebody threw some sequence on the card. So let's bring back in the card base and we're going to go into our Daffodil Delight. And again, I clean this with my chamois. And now let's get that envelope done. And one more color. I'll clean that again. And into the Flirty Flamingo, which this really, it makes those other two colors pop. I really do believe that. And see, even though we did it upside down, <laughs> doesn't matter. It just looks like somebody threw sequence on the envelope. And now right here in the card, and we are almost done. Now that is pretty. The colors are pretty. But once you add the Flirty Flamingo, it's like, it gives it a whole different, I don't know, um, a whole different look. Isn't that awesome? I love that. I didn't realize that until we were doing that together like, like we did. So let's close up the ink. So it's Flirty Flamingo, Daffodil Delight, and Pretty Peacock. Those three go together nicely, beautifully. This is the second card. Here's the first card. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com, click on the big blue button, order any and all of your Stampin' Up! products, or click the link below that says Shop Now, and you will receive these two beautiful cards for this month of July. If you're a new customer, remember you will receive a free annual catalog, the big catalog, and then you'll get six six by six sheets of paper. This will be in the cover of your book, okay? Thanks again for watching. Happy crafting!